Hey, Composite Gloves here. This is the 17th video in the FM8 from the ground up tutorial series. And at long last, we are going to cover the pitch envelope section. So to get to it, you go to experts, click on pitch, and you should be brought to this menu. Now you should already actually know what a lot of this does. You have your amp uh, thing, amp modulation thing, which is a reference to the modulation matrix. You have your envelope, which we are now familiar with and know how to use. We have our amplitude and just all this stuff. And this one heavily references my covering of the master tab and early, earlier on in this series, I believe it was video four or three or something, but go watch that. If you really want to know what this does, I'm going to cover the stuff that I haven't covered yet. And one of those things was I was going through these modes and I could not figure out what key on was, but it turns out they do have it in the manual. It's just in the back. And so I found it. And so I'm just going to cover key on real quick because that's the only one I didn't cover in the master tab. And that is when you hit a note. So this is your pitch bend mode. When you hit a note, it will pitch bend. You hold it and then you change your pitch bend and it will then pitch bend. So when your key is on, like a MIDI note on, you will be able to pitch bend it as a group. Now that could be really important if you have some looping going on in envelopes or things, and you could even automate it to create some interesting results, but that is what key on as it does. You have your tuning, which is global tuning for your entire uh, FM8, and the same for transpose. You can transpose it up an octave or two octaves or down two octaves. This is all old news. You have your portamento, and if you watched my previous videos, I still don't understand what auto does. So please enlighten me if you can get auto to actually make a difference when this is not on. I don't know. I just don't know what auto does. Just drop it in the comments if you know. Analog, again, introduces signal randomness because in analog synthesizers, this is a percentage value, by the way, like 23%, 29% of analog randomness would be initiated by the algorithm they have written because in analog synthesizers their parts heat up and cool down and that changes how the signal can flow through that part thus creating very very minor variations in the sound and this you have a really messed up analog uh, synthesizer then you may have very large effects which i assume would be the 100 value so that's what that does now this envelope you're already familiar with it so if you turn it up you can hear it start to affect our uh, pitch and again you could turn off that relevance to pitch by turning off the pitch relevance on the oscillators that are going out or even the modulating oscillators or operators so not affected affected so let's go back and how do you get your pitch uh to be more responsive like, how do you get it to make a bigger jump? Well, that's where this comes in. You have your velocity sensitivity, which, as I've said before, I don't have a velocity sensitive keyboard hooked up right now. So, but if you were to turn it on, it would respond. This envelope would be responsive to how hard you hit your key. But this right here determines how responsive the amplitude, I mean, the envelope is to the pitch change. So if you turn it up, as you can see it's much more responsive. So if you wanted some sort of like a, a lasery sound, you've probably heard that in a hundred tracks. I mean, they did some editing and some additional distortion and stuff, but that's the general sound. And that is essentially what the pitch uh, envelope does. Turn it way up. You get some really crazy stuff and zero, no pitch change at all. And that is what that does. If you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, Facebook page, YouTube page, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, share them with someone that you think could benefit from them. And have a blessed day. Thank you.